Yo, 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 what it do? What it be, y'all? It's your boy, A-N-T, coming to y'all with a little MW4 commentary. And you know I'm repping the spell block agency, all that. So, check this out, y'all. I, I have come to come to terms as an adult that Tupac really did die in Vegas. Like, he was shot and killed by Baby Lane after they stomped him out in the casino. But, no cap, no gown. When I was in middle school, you couldn't convince me that Tupac was dead. Even if you, you could have killed him right in front of me. And I, I would have told you not, like, I told you Tupac was alive type shit. But it, it, it wasn't for none, though. Like, even today, I don't think people know the full story. So I'm going to kind of debunk some popular theories in this video. And I, I low-key, I might suspend the history, mystery, conspiracy video to talk about the Tupac and Biggie saga just for, you know, a couple minutes, uh, a couple videos because that whole saga, the whole East Coast, West Coast thing like that was so, it changed uh, society kind of like rap music, the culture of rap music and I'm a huge fan of rap music and it's just like, there was so many big figures like underground and all that like I'm gonna have to do like a whole little series on it so anyways uh, like the only shred of evidence that could that could mean Pac is alive is in the name Machiavelli which we all know Niccolo Machiavelli was like uh, Machiavelli was like a, a philosopher who either like faked his death or he wrote about someone faking their death to fool his enemies or so, something like that. I, I, From what I understand, it wasn't even like a big uh, theme in his work. It was literally just like a sentence in one of his books. Um, but people wanted to push the popular theory that, oh, Machiavelli faked his death so, and then Tupac did it. So it kind of makes all sense. No, it was more like it's actually, it, it's not that deep. So... The only thing that's crazy about that is, uh, like, um, besides, like, the whole Machiavelli, like, coincidence thing. Well, not really a coincidence because Pac chose the name. But he was, n he was in a sense, for the project because the seven-day theory was, wasn't supposed to be... Um, an album. It actually became an album after Pac died. It was supposed to be a mixtape, so... It was kind of like a concept album slash tape where Pac was kind of like killing off Tupac and reincarnating himself for the mixtape as Machiavelli or Machiavelli, whatever. But um, so um, it, it's kind of it's even more ironic because the, the name uh, Machiavelli, how Tupac spelled it, could actually be arranged. No cap, no gown. They could, the letters in the name could actually be rearranged to spell out, I am alive, K. Which isn't, you know, it's not the biggest shred of evidence, no cap, no gown. I'm not, like, it's really just like, that's, that's, <laughs> I mean, that's not really even evidence at all, really, y'all. You rearrange some letters, man, like, you know. Harold and uh, the other dude from uh, Captain Underpants did that goddamn every every book, but um, but again, it's just a little weird, strange fact, and like um, a lot of the songs on the Seven Day Theory project discuss death and resurrection, like Hail Mary. Uh, the song and video are much more eerie under the context that it dropped after. Pac's death and it also had hella Easter eggs pointing to him faking his death but um, until really at this point until Tupac comes out and says hey y'all I'm back fuck Diddy and Shug it's thug life all up he mama it, it, it's all coincidence it's all speculation and rumor innuendo all that like everyone thought he said Shug shot me in bomb first I thought this one of the many things in middle school, he's, oh, he's saying Shug shot me. He, he knew what happened, so he had to escape. No, it's just a sound effect from a music library that Snoop Dogg and Daft Punk, which have nothing to do with Tupac or 
or do they? But you know, use they, but they used the Snoop sample that Daft Punk used, and coincidentally, Daft Punk uses the. Oh, excuse me, oh, man. Daft Punk used the Suge Shot Me clip, which coincidentally is actually just a recording of a busy sidewalk. Literally, the file name is called busy sidewalk in the um it's like a sound library pretty much and in the snoop sample from she was just a groupie and uh was actually used in the same song so um so the shook shot me that everybody hears isn't even Pac or anyone from death row so maybe shook shot daft punk or someone at city tracks or something but the the sample was added after his death, after Tupac's death. So maybe they were trying to tell us something. Gay people are gonna think this thing sound like Suge shot me. So yeah, I don't know. But I, I don't. I'm just playing. But I have no idea what the recording in the sample or the sound actually says. But it definitely is not Tupac, and it definitely is not saying Suge shot me. So. The other popular theory is that the Seven Day Theory album can be rearranged to say, okay, on the seventh day you think I'm dead, yet I'm alive. Which, apparently nobody ever tried doing this, but I did. And you can't. You cannot rearrange Machiavelli, the Don Columinati, the Seven Day Theory, and rearrange it into, uh, uh, okay, on the seventh, all that. There's not enough D's, there's not enough I's, and there's not enough E's, so boom, that theory's gone out the window. The the autopsy pictures of Pac that I heard are fake, I couldn't tell you, I don't know, it, like, the outlaws said they smoked Pac's ashes, so he was obviously cremated, um, so I, I, I've heard a lot of rumors, I, I've seen people actually photoshop pictures of Tupac, um, lying down themselves and doing like their own little uh, Photoshop autopsy picture. And um, from what I understand, the Tupac autopsy pictures are fake, a hundred percent fake. Um, however, um, uh, I I believe the story that he got shot and killed in Vegas and then the outlaw smoked his ashes and that, that was the end of that but the autopsy pictures that to me are definitely fake and despite Tretch despite Suge Knight and his son um, all claiming that Tupac is alive I believe I believe now that Tupac died being too loyal he was riding with Death Row and the Pyrus till the wheels fell off because with them, he had power and influence. And I think even his last year, I think he was having kind of like an identity crisis. Hence the switch to Machiavelli. Uh, he was killing off the street poet, Black Panther, revolutionary voice, and bringing in Machiavelli. This vengeful war general ready to conquer and destroy all who stood in his way. Not by sheer aggression, though, like we see in rap nowadays. You know, you could tell Pac was trying to calculate every bar on tracks like Hail Mary and Against All Odds you could hear it in his voice he wanted to explode like like hit him up almost but instead you could hear him you could feel him cut deeper and deeper with every bar but but wrapped at a calm like almost peaceful pace like I I think that's the beauty of Pac was he's like the best punchliner or, or the best bar for bar lyricist no but to this day, I don't think anyone could tell a better story than, than Pac. And he expressed himself in a way that you could tell he was passionate about whatever he talked about. Like Shock G from uh, Digital Underground said it best. When he said, you could tell Pac rapped or spoke, he said it, you could, he said it with the pit from his stomach. You know, with his heart, you know. It, it wasn't, he wasn't one to mince words or say something that wasn't true or wouldn't be true, you know. And as, as much as I wish Pac was here today, there's no way him or anyone could keep a secret like that, of like, like that magnitude forever, you know? To have no one besides Suge and his cracked out son saying Pac is alive for clout, 
know nothing from his family or mom, nothing from the, the outlaws, nothing from him in decades, hinting he's still around. And I know I've seen, uh, there's supposedly that picture of him with 50 Cent or whatever, but I don't know if any of that is even, Photoshop is such a crazy thing, so. And even even back then, even back in the early 2000s, people was photoshopped. They photoshopped a picture of Pac with Beyonce. Like, it's crazy, man. So, um, I do think, however, though, it's strange how none of the 7 Day Theory CD booklet or anything on the case makes any mention of Pac's death considering it was supposed to be a mixtape dissing Big and Diddy. And they turned it into a mainstream album. Like, no R.I.P. Pac or nothing. Just the exit, Tupac, enter Machiavelli, you know. Quote, which is weird uh, to me because the they changed the box artwork after Pac died. But they couldn't add an R.I.P. for my guy. Like, the original artwork for the 7 Day Theory or whatever was supposed to be super disrespectful towards Diddy and Biggie. You had Biggie portrayed as a pig and Diddy, you know, in a dress or whatever. So, it's just weird to me that they changed it after Pac died to make it more mainstream, but they couldn't add, like, an R.I.P. or whatever. It's just, it's a little iffy to me. Um, I, I believe without a shadow of a doubt, like I said, that Pac died in Vegas after being shot... Um, he died seven days after being shot, even the, like, the number seven really does pop up frequently in this so-called mystery or conspiracy, like, him living for seven days, his album being called The Seven Day Theory, because it took seven days to make, supposedly, and he died at 25, you know, two plus five is seven, a little conspiracy theory shit, but, you know, it was around seven weeks after he died that his album dropped, so... Like, the numerology at work during the project and during this whole um, sequence of events, series or whatever, is just kind of kind of makes you go, hmm, but at the same time, it's just like, bruh. I mean, in my opinion, until, like I said, until Pac comes, in, comes back and says all that, it's all speculation, rumor innuendo and coincidence but r.i.p Pac. uh it's kind of just my take i got an uh, a series planned out for how this whole thing came about because the events leading up to tupac's death and biggie's murder tupac and biggie's murders respectively um crazy get out of here dog don't be eating all my food but um, yeah, I just think that Tupac and Biggie's, uh, murders happened with so much stuff behind the, the scenes going on because there was no social media back in the day. There was no Twitter, nothing there. There wasn't there. The internet was not even really even a thing. And you had Diddy behind the scenes putting out hits on death row chains and then trying to pretend like you know bad boy was like oh we're innocent like they started all of this like he's trying to say that um when he, did he has tried to say some things over the years like uh who shot you i'm gonna definitely talk about who shot you but that's like that's like the number one thing He's, he said, everybody has pretty much confirmed from Bad Boy or New York side that who shot you wasn't a diss towards Pac. But listen to the words and the timing that it was dropped. There's Y'all can't tell me that's not fishy. Y'all can't tell me that they was just like, oh, Pac gonna be cool. He wasn't even thinking about Pac. Come on, G. And then on a kid, the long kiss goodnight. Come on, bruh. You gonna sit there and act like you wasn't talking to Pac at the end of that? We coming for you. And even even on heard, heard you got fucked four times. Tupac got shot four times. 
Come on, G. And and the whole quad studio thing too. The the whole setup of quad. I'm gonna definitely have to talk about all of that and the shit leading up to his, two when Tupac got shot the first time. That's when all everything just started to just downward. It was like it wasn't even a downward spiral. It was literally like chaos, chaotic in the rap game. After he was just like a man on a war path, he, nothing could stop him. The whole state of New York couldn't stop Pac. <laughs> that was crazy, right? He took on a whole coast, and low key was and low key was serving. To, now New York, New Yorkers, I understand they'll never admit to this, but Pac was serving y'all, serving them. So I know. The, the crazy thing is, here's how you know the New York bias is crazy. People will sit there and say Chino XL beat Tupac in, in their beef. I think Chino XL was mentioned in one bar and hit him up. And maybe on another unreleased diss track or whatever. But it's like, he had a whole song about Pac. That's how hard Pac was going on the whole New York. He said, fuck Jay-Z, fuck all of them. He even ran up on Nas during the whole thing that was going on. Like, watch how bad we got him shook. Snoop Dogg told that story. So it's just that man, Pac was just a, a crazy like what he stood for, and just his passion when he went about shit was um, it was truly something to embody and marvel at. Um, but yeah, R.I.P. Tupac, R.I.P. Biggie. Biggie was a co-rapper to me, but he never, he, he was a co, I, he's cold to me, but he's never pot, I'm sorry, <laughs> he was, he said he was a, a great lyricist, I guess, but I mean, honestly, Notorious B.I.D., to me, he's not even as good as Method or Big Pun, to me. Like he was, he was stew. He went crazy with the bars, but he was never like like he was more mainstream than anything. The Versace he tried to you know try to you know Pac was on that first. Despite what you know, New York people can say whatever they want. Pac was definitely rocking Versace. He was cool with uh, he was actually cool with Gianni Versace. He thought he was like his son or whatever. And Biggie was like, oh no, I'm gonna rock that. We high fashion. We New York. But he was originally rocking the all black Tims and black Knights. Y'all remember that? But I don't know. Much big, big respect to Biggie. He was cold rapper, bro. Cold rapper. But he just was never the storyteller. And he wasn't, to me, he wasn't the leader like Pac was. He was more of like the figurehead. You know, Diddy kind of controlled everything behind the scenes. But I don't know. It's, I'll, I'll have to do more research and do you know do some stuff like that right out some videos so stay tuned for all that so uh been your boy a n t the elevated gamer a k a d above average gamer go ahead and leave a like or leave a dislike i don't know D dislike my take is cool leave a comment on why you didn't dislike it or leave a comment on why you liked it <laughs> go ahead and subscribe ring the damn bell for more hot content dropping little things stopping i'm out y'all Peace. Be safe. Don't get smoked. I'm out.